So today we are looking at this question here. ABCDF is a regular hexagon with sides length of x. So let's just quickly label the sides x, x, another x, another x, another x, because it's a regular hexagon, all sides are equal, all the angles are the same. So we've done that. Hexagon F, sorry, hexagon is enlarged by center F, which is over here by scale factor p to give us hexagon f g h i j k which is the bigger one show that the area okay so we need to find the area of the shaded region which is the gray bit is given by this expression here so to do that i need to work out the area of the smaller hexagon and the larger hexagon and take them away so i'm going to start off by looking at this hexagon um, it's a regular hexagon so I can split it up like so, and then I will have six equilateral triangles. So all the angles in the equilateral triangle are going to be 60 degrees, 60 degrees here, 60 there, and 60 there. And all sides in an equilateral triangle are equal, so this side's going to be x, that side's going to be x as well. So I'm going to find the area then of one of these triangles um, using the sine rule. So I would do half times the product of the sides multiplied by the sine of the included angle. I'm going to write over the diagram slightly. That would leave me with half times x squared. The sine 60 is root 3 over 2 which would then result with root 3 over 4 sine 60. So root 3 over 4 x squared, not sine 60. OK, so that gives me the area of one triangle. To find out the area of the hexagon, I would have to multiply by 6, because 6 of them make the hexagon. So area of hexagon A, B, C, D, E, F very lengthy name i just multiply it by six and uh, the six and the four can be divided by two to leave me with three root three hex squared over two and that's the area of the smaller hexagon now the question says that from center f um the greater the bigger hexagon has been enlarged by scale factor p so the scale factor for lengths is p and that's lengths of one dimension so the scale factor for the area is in two dimensions so i square the scale factor of lengths and i get that so p squared will be the scale factor for the area which means now i can work out the area of the bigger hexagon by multiplying the area of the smaller hexagon by uh, p squared which is the area scale factor so that would be p squared times 3 root 3 x squared over 2 just can write this as 3 root 3 x squared p squared over 2 or you can write p squared x squared whichever way you want now the shaded area as we mentioned earlier will be the area of the bigger hexagon minus the area of the smaller hexagon so that's going to be 3 root 3 x squared p squared over 2 that's the area of the bigger hexagon minus 3 root 3 x squared over 2 which is the area of the smaller hexagon if i factorize this both of them have 3 root 3 over 2 x squared in it so i'm going to factorize it using that and then i'm left with p squared minus 1 in brackets now if i want i can shift this x squared right to the end it would mean the same thing so 3 root 3 over 2 p squared minus 1 x squared just as the question has stated thank you for watching hope that helps stay tuned for more